Hello everybody, welcome back to Move with Rissa. My name is Rissa. Today I have a beautiful self-love yoga flow. And since the seasons are starting to change and it's autumn um, or close to autumn, wherever, or at least where I live, um, we're gonna start slowing things down for the year. We're still gonna strengthen our muscles and get stronger, but we're just gonna kind of woo-saw and get ready for the winter. Um, so yeah, let's get started today. You will need a block if you have one. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can use a pillow or you don't even technically need it, but it is um, advised if you have one handy. So let's get started in child's pose today. Bring the knees out wide and sink down chest and forehead to the mat. And we have the beautiful energy of the full moon going on right now. So take extra time to really ground yourself and connect to the earth here. Start to deepen and lengthen the breath and start to set your intention for your class today. And since we do have the full moon energy going on, if you want to manifest something or attract something, you can make that your intention or um, anything you would like. You can focus on a self-love affirmation as your intention. Great. And then from your child's pose, we will keep the knees wide and we'll start to come up into cow lifting the heart and then sink back to child's pose and then this time we're going to roll up to cow so rounding the back press the mat away and then once again sink back to child's pose and then inhale come back to cow Exhale, child. And we're going to alternate between those two, cat and cow, with the child's pose in between. And just follow your breath, go at your own pace. And then on the next inhale, you'll round all the way through to cobra. You can go a low cobra on the elbows, or you can come up to the hands. Just do whatever feels accessible. If the high cobra tweaks your lower back, then I would advise not doing that. And then on your exhale, sink back to child's pose once more. And we'll alternate between those two movements, getting some spine love in for the day. Option in your cobra if you are more flexible to bring your feet to the head. Okay. 
do two more. Last one. And then instead of sinking back to child's pose, we're going to come on to hands and knees, tabletop. Really set up a solid foundation here, gripping the mat with your hands, pressing into the feet. And once you press into your feet, it engages the lower stomach. Great. Take the right foot out, press the heel back, getting a nice calf stretch. You can shift forward and back. And then take the right foot across your mat over to the left side. So it's crossing over your left foot. And then option to look over your left shoulder. On your next inhale, point the toes, bring the foot up to the sky, bent knee, and round knee to chest. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, round. Inhale, bring it up. Take your left hand, grab the foot, and then kick into your hand. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale up, take the bind. The bind is optional, you don't have to grab the foot if it doesn't feel good today. And Last one, exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Bring the knee down, sit back to child's pose. moment maybe shaking out the wrists if your wrists are tired and then we'll reset coming back into your tabletop inhale lift the left foot up oh sorry actually bring it straight out back push the heel back for that calf stretch maybe rocking forward and back Bring the left foot across the right side of your mat, maybe looking back at that foot. Big side body stretch. Keep pressing that heel away. Great, on your inhale, point the toes. Knee is bent foot towards the sky, exhale, knee to chest, round the back. Inhale, lift up, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lift up, option to grab the back foot with the right hand and then kick into your hand. And then exhale, round the spine. Follow your breath between those two movements. Great. 
do one more. Exhale, round. Put the knee back down, come back for a brief child's pose. Maybe shaking out the hips, shaking out the wrists. Great. Come back to tabletop and then shift the hips from side to side. Great. And then roll up to a kneeling position. We're going to clasp the hands behind our backs. Inhale, lift the chest towards the sky. Pull the shoulders down. And then exhale, hands are still clasped. We're going to come forward into a fold. Inhale to come up. Great. And then we're going to keep the hands clasped behind us. And we're going to bring that clasp over to the left side of the hips. Once you're here, draw that um, left elbow in and back. And then tilt the head over to the left. You should get a nice big neck stretch. And breathe. Saying the affirmation, I deserve happiness and joy. You can gently roll the neck here. to the opposite side and then tilt your head over to the right. Big deep breaths. Saying the affirmation, I deserve happiness and joy. Maybe rolling the neck here. And if you haven't said those affirmations to yourself yet, say them. Nobody's watching you. Or if they are, that's totally fine. Maybe you'll inspire them. Great. And then we'll come back to the hands and the knees. And we'll bring the right foot up in between the hands for a low lunge. And then when you're ready, come up, maybe pressing the hands onto the thigh for some support. Tilting the spine or the tailbone down so you're not um, it's not so much of a cat, or I mean a cow motion, where you're pushing your hips out. You're really engaging your lower stomach and bringing your hips in. Great. Inhale, arms come up. 
Exhale, cactus the arms. Maybe slight back bend. Maybe lift the left foot up. And exhale, release the back foot if you have it. Bring the hands down to the mat. Untuck the left toes if they were tucked. And then we'll come to a pigeon with this right foot. But instead of bringing your foot into a traditional pigeon, we're just going to tuck the leg or the calf under your thigh. So your foot is directly under you instead of out to the side. Just a little bit of a different variation today. It's a little more gentle. And then maybe rock side to side in your hips. And be really gentle. There's a lot of emotion stored in our hips. So sometimes, especially with the full moon, um, your emotions can come up. And just be gentle with yourself if that does happen. Allow that healing space for yourself today. And then if you would like, we'll come up, still in our pigeon, bringing hands to hips, or we'll take Amkara Mudra. We'll bring the thumb to the index finger and then make a three with the other fingers. So the thumb to index, three with the others and bring those mudras out to the side or even up. This is a beautiful mudra for self-love. Great, exhale, release the hands. Step that, well, step both knees in line, coming into a child's pose. Inhale to come back up and bring the left foot between the hands. Take some time to adjust. We're in our low lunge. Maybe bringing the hands to the thigh for some support. Stay here or cactus the arms, maybe a slight back bend. Connect back to your intention here. And then exhale, plant the hands. We'll come to that pigeon, bringing the foot directly under your thigh. And then swaying side to side. Again, being gentle with yourself if anything comes up. Sometimes this variation is actually more intense for my hip flexors than traditional pigeon. And stay here or come up. Find your stabilization. And then we'll take those mudras again, Amkata Mudra, thumb to index fingers, and then a three with the other fingers. Bringing that mudra either out to the side or up above your head. Two big breaths. And on your exhale, float the hands down to the mat. Come back to your child's pose. And then I will meet you on your back.
And then this is where if you have a block, feel free to put it under your hips. If you don't have one, that's totally fine. And then we'll bring the feet together to touch and let the knees fall out wide. Relax here. And then we'll take Lotus Mudra with the hands, pinkies and thumbs together. The rest of your fingers splay out wide so it looks like a lotus. And just bring that to your heart. This mudra is great for your heart chakra, connects you to the crown chakra as well, connects you to the universe. Maybe saying the mudra, all of my tension melts away as we begin to wind down and relax. And keep the lower body where it is. We're gonna release the mudra and cross our arms over our chest, giving ourselves a big hug. And then breathe. Notice how you feel now from the beginning of class. Notice what it feels like to give yourself some attention. Feeling the belly as it rises and falls with the breath. And then switch the cross of your arms. And then the last thing we'll do before Savasana, we're gonna do something really powerful and you're going to call all of your energy back to you. So whoever has taken it, taken it, whatever has taken it, if a situation has drained you or a person has drained you, you can call your energy back to you and replenish yourself. So let's do that. It's simple. You close your eyes and all you have to say is, I call all of my energy back to me now. You can say it as many times as you would like. Make sure it is forceful, almost demanding, but gentle still. And that invites all of the energy that was taken for you from you to come back into your body and replenish you. I call all of my energy back to me right now. You can leave the lower body where it is, or you can bring your feet out long, or your legs out long, hands by the side, shoulder blades roll under for our final savasana. Taking full deep breaths, allow your mind to relax. 
We'll rest for a few more moments. Start to reawaken, wiggling fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side. And when you're ready, we will meet in a seat of your choosing. Thank you so much for joining me in class today. Thank you, well, thank yourself for showing up for yourself and bettering yourself, showing yourself some love. We will take the hands to the heart, close the eyes. Find one thing that you're grateful for today. And with that, namaste.